I will let you know how to color apples with color pencils little by little. Sometimes I'm using the eraser like pencil, so I want to make them sharp. Now I'm using Grand pencil sharpener. Garanda Sheet Pencil Sharpener is working good enough to sharpen color pencils. And I usually use Garanda Sheet 120 color pencils. Actually, I need more colors, but so far, so good. First time, I feel a apple sketch is too small, so I turn the page. When I sketch the object, I usually use straight lines, even for round object, to figure it out for aspect. From now on, I'm gonna make three different directions of apples means those are facing two different directions and angles. Next, I'm drawing the highlights on the apples. And I like to use various of colors for the apples. Now, I hope just follow me what kind of colors I use and how I handle the color pencils. When you watch this video, did you figure it out or something? That is, I'm using all different kinds of directions of strokes, even for one apple. Every subject are concerned with light and shadow, so the relationship of light and shadow is very important. Likewise, the cause or source always makes the result. Hey everybody, where is the light from? Yes, from the head, means from the top, not from the bottom. As a result, always the shadow stays on the bottom. So when you're coloring, please make the highlights on the top area and the dark area will stay on the opposite area of highlights parts. When you make the outlines, why don't you try to press up and down your color pencil to make vivid volume. Just right below the subject of shadow part is going to be darkest portion in shadow.
Now I sharpen my eraser and I'm using like a pencils for a light area. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you again.